welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason. This is a free hypnosis session just for you. So, what I thought I would do today is um, give you or let you know about something that I do, um, which is it's a way for you, it's, it's got many different reasons for doing it, each one would be personal for the individual person that's doing this particular thing. So, only ever watch these sessions when you can safely close your eyes. This particular session is going to be about healing. And there may be background sounds, um, which is fine, either my side or yours. It doesn't matter because you don't need to be asleep to do this. And um, if you want to close your eyes while I talk, that's fine. Uh, you can keep them open, that's fine too. I always find it's easier to close my eyes because I find it easier to visualise things when I've got my eyes closed. But you know, sometimes visualization is not even necessarily easy either because the intent is there. If the intent is there, that's enough. If you can say the words, that's enough. If you can say the words and imagine it, great. If you can physically do it, say the words and imagine it. If you can imagine a smell, if you can imagine a taste, you know, all those things that get into your unconscious mind that make things a bit stronger, a bit more emotionally connected, some would say to your heart. Um, I know it's kind of spiritual kind of terminology, but um, I think it's well established in human society that when we think of emotions, we do connect it with our heart. Because I guess it's a love thing, it's a human thing, it's emotion and we tend to, I think as human beings, separate the brain from the heart, the brain and the mind being logical and cognitive and the heart, even though it's just it's got nothing to do with emotions really necessarily. But So what this is, is you using your energy and as I said intent is I think intent and action are two most important things so with this all you're doing is you're sharing energy with other people uh, and what I do is I do it on a quite a big scale um, I share like a healing energy in my mind I basically I put my hand against the wall where I live there's 12 people in this building or maybe more I don't know but I put my hand on the wall and that part of the wall is attached to every other flat within the building on some level you know because they're all connected aren't they so if I touch if I touch this desk that's attached in some level to houses up the road because it hits it's in the floor the ground supports the other houses so it's everything's attached everything's connected so but on a more logical on a more practical on a more uh, definite literal sense I touch the wall here it is connected with the other flats because the walls are connected literally with bricks and whatever and all I do is I do this at night I just touch it and I just imagine healing energy being spread throughout the walls To all the other walls within the building 
into everything that touches the walls, the floorboards, everything that touches the floorboards, the carpet, the beds, the chairs, and everything that touches the chairs and the beds, including the people, the air. And just allow that energy to go into that, the whole of the building, just by touching the wall. Sometimes I imagine a light, sometimes I imagine a feeling, or just get a feeling. There can be a sound connected, it's up to you. Whatever works for you, whatever makes you feel good. Because that is the end result, is you will feel good doing this. So, if you think about it, instead of being a healing, voodoo, weird witchcrafty kind of strange thing to do a cult or whatever you want to whatever term you want to use you just think of it as being hypnosis think of it as being your mind think of it as imagination or however you want to think of it because the bottom line is how do you feel at the end of it? How do you feel? So I'd just like you to do that in your mind. Maybe do that now while we're talking to each other here. Wherever you're living, or maybe you're watching this while you're at work, and probably wouldn't be, but I'd just like you to put your hand, it doesn't have to be on the wall, it can just be on the bed or it can be on anywhere because that will touch the rest of the building. But if you can touch a part of the wall, do that. Or if you're on the floor, touch the floor. And allow that energy to spread throughout the building. And if you live in a building on your own, imagine that energy to spread maybe to the other rooms in the building, to the other people, maybe to next door. Maybe across the road. You could decide if you wanted to have that spread throughout the entire town, the entire city, the entire country. But I'd say start with the house. Allow that energy to go through, that healing energy. And the intent that comes with this is the intent for that healing energy to heal those people, to heal the building, to heal the walls, to heal the people and their lives, to give them what they need, what they require for health, for happiness, giving that away. Because this really is like the golden goose, it never stops laying eggs. The more you give, the more you get. Even if what you get is just a feeling, a feeling of relaxation, a feeling of accomplishment, a feeling of having done something worthwhile, feeling of compassion just by touching a wall you can imagine the energy is a certain colour you might imagine a certain sound you can say to yourself or you can say out loud I share this healing Let everyone in this building be healed, be happy. You can do this every night. And notice how it feels. Notice how you feel when you do it and after you've done it. That brings us to the end of this session. Please let me know how you get on. Thank you. Bye.